Today we will create this entire focus on one project a day animation on PowerPoint 2013. Alright, let's get started. First go to insert and go to shapes and pick this rounded green triangle over here and just drag it like that. So I'm going to create the basic camera shape like here, over here. I'll smooth it out a bit like this. Done. Then what I'll do is go to insert again, go to shapes again and I'll select this trapezoid over here and just drag it over here on top of it like this and I'll smooth the real dot a bit like this and put it right over in the middle then I'll just drag over all these two then go to merge shapes and union them together if you don't have the merge shape you can just create this on your own with other shapes but it will take it easier option so you know <laughs> if you don't have it sorry about that now I'll click on the no outlines or maybe I'll make this 25% lighter black and I'll go to shape fill and make it no fill. Then I'll go to shape outline again and increase the weight to about 6 points. Then I'll go to this option, this form a shape option and a window will pop up. I'll go to line and I'll go to cap type. I'll go to cap type and make it round and I'll go to joint type and I'll make it round also. So I'm done with this. Now time to make the camera lens. I'll go to shapes and Click on this donor shape, holding down control, shift, I'll just drag it like this. Put it right in the middle and increase the size of it like this. Done. Then I'll press on this object, go to home, go to form painter and paint the same format on top of it. Done. Now I need to create the complicated shapes that will circulate around the camera. Now to do that, I'll first create a new slide, go to blank. Here I'll create the entire animation. I'll go to insert, go to shapes and I'll pick this shape over here, this flowchart collat and I'll just drag it like this. Maybe yeah, make it thin. Right. Then I'll press Ctrl D to duplicate it and hold it on Alt. I'll press the right arrow to rotate it twice about 30 degrees. Yeah, like that. Then I'll repeat the process. Press Ctrl D, rotate it 30 degrees. Press Ctrl D, rotate 30 degrees. So soon you'll have something like this. I'll drag over all of this. Go to Align, Align Center, and go to Align Middle. Done. Now I'll just drag over all of this, and you need the Merge Shape tool for this tutorial. So sorry about that. Go to Union and Union them together, or you can improvise, of course. Go to Insert, go to Shapes, and first pick this donor shape and drag it and align them like that then I'll just drag over all of this holding I'll just drag over all of this holding down control shift I'll just make a duplicate out of it so that I can use it for the use I'll drag over these two holding down control I'll select this also and go to merge shapes and when I use the fragment you see a lot of so every part is created differently. We will need that later. But for the moment being, we will just make it intersect. Yeah, something like that. Intersect. So I'll have something like this. Then I'll press on these two objects and put them right in the middle. Then I'll press more shapes and fragment them. Now here's the tricky part. I'll have to delete a lot of parts, but I need to be very patient about it. Now I'll just click on the middle like this and if I delete it you have something like this so I'll click on this hold it on control I'll click on this and this 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 and this then I'll delete them and have something like this done now I will delete the other parts but I'll click on this other side parts first and what I will do is we'll go to format and merge them together and I'll have something like this this I can use for further then I'll just click on this 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 so as you can see I'm just separating each part and merging them together so that I can use them for a different purpose so I'll merge them together and have something like this and I'll do the same thing for this shapes so bear with me as I go along. This might be a bit time consuming, but it should serve just fine. We'll form it and merge them together. So we have all these different shapes and sizes. I'll just drag all of this together and union them. 
So we have all of these different things. Now what we will do is create something more complicated shapes. Go to insert, go to shapes, and we have to pick something that will create the, the you know, unique shapes if you want. So what we can do to create them is create pick this pipe over here. Drag right like this, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, rotate it like this, and make it intersect. I'll drag about these two, and I'll align them to the center, and I'll align them to the middle. Then I'll merge them, and I'll have something like this. So I'll fragment them. So I have four shapes, basically four shapes, and I'll get rid of the shape outlines. So I have something like this. Alright, cool. Then what I will do is go to insert good shapes and pick a donut as usual and put it right on top of it. Yeah, done. Then I'll just drag all of this, go to merge shapes and fragment them again. And I'll have something like this, this, and this box. So you can see that I'm creating different types of parts which I will use for further use. So for now, I'll click on this, and this, and this, and separate like this. So you can see, I've created something like that. I'll merge them together. And I don't need these parts, so I'll just delete it. Why don't, don't I need these parts? So because I can just duplicate it and put it right like this. So I don't know, need those parts. So I have got different parts. Now I can experiment with this. Now I have the camera right over here and my shapes right over here. So first what I will do is click on this, press Ctrl C to copy it, then go to the slide where the camera is, then I'll press Ctrl V. I have something like this. I'll press right click and send it to back. And if I send it to back, I can still see that thing. So what I will do is click on the camera icon, go to shape field and make it white so that I can see the main thing in the behind. So I'll increase the size of the main thing behind like this and go to shape outline. I'll make the outlines disappear. Go to shape field and make it this light ash color if you will. Then go to animations and go to the more and make it spin like this. <laughs> And I'll go with previous and I'll increase the duration for 20 seconds. 20 seconds sounds nice because it's a huge animation and I need to make it slow like this. Done. Now I need to add some more. So I'll click on this, I'll press Ctrl C, then I'll go over here, press Ctrl V and put it right over here. And I'll increase the size a bit, holding down Ctrl Shift. I'll rotate it like this. Then I'll go to format and click on these two icons and maybe make it a bit darker and put it right in the back and I'll click on the bigger project and go to animation and animation painter and I'll paint the anime on top of that and I'll have something like this. So we are almost done. So basically I'm just experimenting right over here. I'll go to effect options and make it counterclockwise. So I'll we have something like that. Done. Now what we can do is add some more things, but before we do that, I need to make a shutter. So I'll click on this, which we prepared earlier, press Ctrl C, go to the main camera, press Ctrl V, and put it right over here. Done. Now I'll go to format and go to shape, outline, no outline, and make it this dark ash color. Done. But now, the main thing is that I want to create an animation that it's the camera is focusing. So what here I will add some multiple animations to make it look like it's focusing. But before that, I need to add some text to make it you know convey a message. So I'll tag something. I'll first go to insert, go to word art, click on this A, and I'll have a text option. I'll pick a day one project a day draw project a day and i'll make it dagger square and minimize it like this done then i'll just 
copy it by pressing Ctrl T and I will click this all by pressing Ctrl A then make one you can do a separate box if you will like this and I will increase the size a bit like this done all right I put it right in the middle one project a day now I need it to focus if you focus on something it will appear quite slowly so hold pressing the one I'll go to animations and I'll click the fade and it appears like this I'll go to animation pen I'll close this box I'll make it appear by three seconds and make it with previous so the one appears with three seconds now I want to make it look like it's being focused so what I will do is click on this thing this thing and make it circle so same process I'll make it spin but I'll make it spin for three seconds and make it with previous so that it seems that it's focusing but it doesn't seem like it's focusing because it's spinning too fast so I'm gonna make it slow so effect options I'm gonna make it spin quarter spin so it's become very slow so like this now I'm gonna make it even slow so I'm gonna go to effect options and go over here and I'm gonna make it 30 after typing it, I'm going to press enter. Then I will smooth in it a bit like this and hit OK. And we have our focus ready. Then what I will do is just click on this big donut and go to here options and I'll make it grow and shrink. Now basically the camera will basically shrink. So I will make this duration 3 seconds first, starting with previous. Then make it shrink. Go to effect options, go to the size options, and make it 80. Then hit enter. Then hit OK. And it will shrink. Alright, it has shrink too much, so I'm gonna shrink it a bit for 85%. Yeah. And then what I will do is just click on all of these three, holding on shift, and we'll just decrease the duration a bit. And increase the delay a bit. Now this is what happens one project a day and it's focusing on one project a day so my message is focus on one project a day so our animation is basically done i'll just drag it a bit and i'll type focus on one project a day so our animation is done and that's how i create a focus animation on your powerpoint and i'll just start this with slideshow focus on one project a day Thanks for watching this entire long tutorial.